I've had my fair share of bullying in the past. Having a different body type than all the girls in my grade. To not being able to read properly. You see, I was in grade three when I was told I was dyslexic. All my life, I developed social anxiety due to teachers making me read out loud, thinking that it's gonna make things better. I was laughed at and I had no chance to change my social situation. I would cry in front of the class because I couldn't understand what the word meant. Everyone else did. I was young and the teachers didn't know what to do. So they didn't do anything. I was stuck with self-hatred. By grade eight, I didn't want to live anymore. By grade nine, I was admitted into the crisis ward. And a couple months later, I did something that I should probably should never do. Let's not sugarcoat it though. <laughs> I tried to kill myself. I'll never be ashamed of anything in my life. It's part of me. It's who I've become. It's part of my life. It's part of my past. It's not important though. It may sound cheesy or cliche, but it made me stronger. Every day I'm reminded of my past. I look down at my wrist and I see my scars. Am I ashamed of it? No. It's a constant reminder that I am stronger than my past and that I made it through and that I can do anything if I put the effort into it. At the time, that was the only way that I could get through anything. It was my coping method and it was a hard time for me, but I don't regret it. Now, after two years of not self-harming, and I see that it only made things worse, and that it was not a proper way of coping with stressful situations or hard situations. So now, I've found ways of coping with things, using art and music, and I can see that it has helped me more than doing something that is only negative. I still get anxiety and I still get depressed sometimes, but I know that I can make it through anything, and so the meaning of my heart tattoo helps me breathe through those situations and reminds me that I'm still human and that I can't get through this on my own. I need people around me and it's important that you acknowledge that you're not okay. It's okay to not be okay. But you need to get help. My favorite quote in the entire world that has helped me through a lot is from Pete Wentz. And it's just because today is a terrible day doesn't mean tomorrow might not be the best day of your entire life. You just have to wake up and get there. This quote is shows that today may not be the best day. But you never know what tomorrow might bring. And you, tomorrow could be the best day. Tomorrow could be the worst day. But because you're stuck in that situation where today you feel as if it's the worst day ever, you can't see the positive of tomorrow. And tomorrow might bring joy 